Making it through the infancy phase requires you to have a plan. You need to understand all the tasks that are required to run a business. Beyond understanding the tasks, you'll need to figure out how you're going to get them done. The e-myth highlights how dangerous this phase can be if an entrepreneur attacks it without a plan. Let's start building a plan for your business. I like to use a framework called a value chain to identify all the tasks required to run the business. Here are the elements to consider. For each one, build a specific task list and determine how you'll accomplish the task. Remember, the idea is for you to not do it all yourself. You can outsource tasks, pay service providers, and eventually bring on other people to handle these responsibilities. What's important is you have a plan for how you're going to do it. Let's start with operations. That's where your product gets made or your service gets delivered. Generally, technicians have a really good sense for how to get this done. Who's going to produce your product or deliver your service? You need to consider inbound and outbound logistics. Where will you get raw materials? How will you package and ship your product to customers? Marketing and sales is the lifeblood of your business. You need to promote your work so people are aware of it, and you need to close deals and generate revenue. Who's going to manage your website, your social media, your marketing efforts? Who will meet with customers and sell to them? Who's going to handle contracting? You'll have to handle customer service when there are issues with your product. Who will take the calls, respond to emails, and resolve customer issues? Your business will need infrastructure too. Who will handle your technology support for things like phones, computers, inventory systems, and other technology platforms? If you have physical infrastructure like machinery and office space, who's going to buy it and maintain it? Administrative activities are critical even if they're not fun. Who will do your bookkeeping and taxes? Who will handle legal and regulatory requirements? That's just a beginning list. Each business is unique and will have its own special infant demands. Just like you wouldn't want to bring a newborn home from the hospital without proper preparation for its needs, you don't want to start a business without planning well for its needs too.